Hello, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today is August 6th. So we're going to talk about two projects that you can get on GitHub. These are from two large banks. I have mentioned this before. Uh, these are projects put out by both Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. So the first one I'm going to take a look at here, and if you want to know more about going into the potential HFT field, high frequency trading, very lucrative, as you know, go to quantlabsnet.com and click learn and get a free full on book that I put together for HFT. And if you don't like that, we also got a 45 minute view on why you might want to look at uh, trading view for your automated trading. All right. So let's take a look at the GitHub. Um, called Goldman Sachs at their uh, repository, GS Quant. So what is this? This is all in Python. So basically a Python toolkit for quant finance created from the most powerful risk trading, uh, risk transfer platforms out there. Remember, uh, Goldman Sachs, their entire enterprise was written in uh, proprietary language that they've run for many years, decades. And might be one of the reasons why, because of the risk management, uh, that platform kept the corporation of Goldman Sachs float and, and pretty well escaped unscathed in 2008 during the last financial crisis because they had uh, properly developed a risk management system that's applied right throughout their uh, enterprise. So it's a sense here, it's 25 years experience of navigating the global markets. This is created and maintained by quant developers at Goldman Sachs to do enable development of trading strategies and analysis of derivative products. GS quant can be used to facilitate derivative structure, trading, risk management, and statistical packages for data analysis. So <laughs> you might be all excited because you can get access to it. No, you can't. This is an API, uh, and it's only available for institutional clients of Goldman, and you have to uh, already be hooked up to their sales department at Goldman to get access. But you can still get access to it via here. Uh, goes into full description on what it does. There's some uh, videos here for training, da, 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 da. I'm not going to go into it. I'll let you explore. You can get that at my blog quantlabnet.com. Just go in the description. I'll make sure you get that in the post. Also, there's another thing that I want to mention here. I have mentioned for many weeks now that uh, many weeks that uh, banks are now hiring coders instead of market, traditional market analysts that just don't know anything. I, I think it started, if you walk off the street and call yourself a trader back in the 70s and 80s, uh, you could do that. Fast forward to today in 2024, that's no longer the case. You've got to go through rigorous interviews, highly competitive. Uh, and then they put their employees on these programs for JP Morgan trading uh, as well. I think it's part of a testing mechanism as well. Because so what I'm saying is if you're going into the banks, this is just proof from the world's largest bank that you need to be a coder. You need to know Python. It's one of the basic skills now, not just knowing something like uh, Bloomberg. You've got to know your coding technical because prior to Goldman Sachs, they're no longer a bank. They are a technical company, a technology company. So this course for JP Morgan designed to numerical computing and data visualization not designed to be a complete course in computer science, but rather a motivational demo, how relatively complex topics can be accessible for those without formal programming background. The training is designed and conducted in person, led by JP Morgan Technologies and Traders for interested uh, uh, institutional clients, contact your JP Morgan. So as far as I was told, this was uh, part of the training for new hires. Uh, I'm sure they might be doing other ways, but, um, you know, who am I to say that? Because everything changes in the markets. So let's take a look at this. So we have here IX, IEX Cloud for the data. Okay. So uh, 
yabba dabba do, I guess. We also have here provided the Blue uh, Google uh, Cloud Platform, OVH, and Jesus Notebooks, Touring Institute, so on. So uh, there's that, and they have some other data sources, I guess, for uh, airport routing information. Um, so uh, there's that. So I just wanted to put that out there to show you that this is kind of where things are going and probably are already at. This was put up, well, it looks like initially five years ago, uh, and they've updated a, a few months ago here. So take that as a note. And probably an expectation for getting into the banking field to cut through and rise above. You probably got to be a coder, at least in Python, to kind of get the attention to compete against the others. The others that are probably applying thousands of people for one job. Uh, and it's very, very cutthroat. So a lot of them will definitely know coding. A lot of them will have their certification, as I've explained before. Maybe a CFA, I don't know, a PhD somewhere from a nice school like MIT, plus this, what else can I tell you? But this is the expectation now of banks like JP Morgan and maybe just maybe something like Goldman Sachs as well. We'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And don't forget, don't forget to go to the learn tab here at quantlabsnet.com to try to do your own do-it-yourself learning, namely for C++ HFT, get that book, or Get the 45-minute uh, video of TradingView on the highlights of that as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.